Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how you can actually drag in icons just like this tomato without having to draw it or scribble it in Tinkercad. It's a pretty simple process, but it does require you to know where to look, where to press the buttons, and where to import icons from. So when we want to bring in an icon, we need to import it. There's a button up here next to export, it says import. That means we're going to bring in a file into Tinkercad. In Tinkercad, you can bring in three different types of files, STLs, objects, and SVGs. Without going into this too much, an STL is for 3D printing. An object is more 3D objects that you might see in augmented reality or something you might have exported before in Tinkercad. Whereas SVG is a flat image, similar to what you might find from a camera, except it is specifically made to be expanded and shrunk, and it won't actually lose clarity. Whereas with a photo, you might find that you, when you go really close, you see all those pixels, it's a different type of file. So we need what's known as an SVG image to import so we can use it um, within our Tinkercad design. At the moment, I haven't got one, so I'm gonna show you how we can find them through a website called Free Icon. So it's called freeicons.io. And once you go there, you have to sign in. You can use your Google account or any email address, and then you can search for an object that you're after. In this case, I've looked for carrot, and we're gonna see if this works out well for us. It doesn't matter if the object you download is black or white or colored, because it will all come out the same, but you might find with a bit of extra contrast with the black and white, you might get a better result. We'll actually compare the two. So we're gonna compare this carrot and this carrot and see how we go. So I've downloaded two SVG files, as you see here. Now I'm gonna go back to Tinkercad, and if you remember, I need to import those files. I'll choose those files and it should be in download. So if I go to my last two, hopefully I can import oh, just one at a time, that's fine. So that's the first one. And then I'm gonna import the second last one and let's go here, import. All right, so this was my first one, the black and white one. It actually turned out mm, not too great. Let's see if the next one comes out a bit better and over here. Now, if you think about where we came from, we had these icons, one here and this one here, and we ended up with this outcome. It's not too bad. If you imagine scribbling, it's quite hard to get the object you want. So this is a bit of a clearer option. And you can get more complex objects as well. And if you fiddle around with it a bit more, you might be able to get things like rockets and other objects that even give you a better result. So it depends on uh, the clarity of this image, this SVG, on how well it's going to come out in Tinkercad. Remembering you can make edits, you can then add some extra features. Maybe you're like, oh, I want to add some extra leaves, and you can add that detail. Uh, just quickly, how you can then create a garden label. You can obviously just put it onto the top like that. Uh, just for now, if you wanted to show what it looks like, you might make it orange so it's a bit clearer, and you might even add some leaves on top. But if you want to make a hole and make a cutout so that you could make a label somewhat like this. Um, you would then turn that into a hole, as I've done there, and then you need to group them together. And if I click on group, we can then just have our carrot like that. You might want to write some text at the bottom. It's up to you how you want to add that variety. But that's just a short way how you can add SVGs. Obviously, this is for our garden labels, but you might use this for another project you have and to add some complexity and add some detail into it. Good luck. I want to see what you come up with. Make sure you comment below and uh, ask me any questions if you have them.